Hey everyone, Steve Sedera here from Tabletop Farmer and we're coming to you from where it all started 38 years ago and it's looking a little greener the last time we were out here all there was is stubble and so today I want to talk a little bit about what are the best plants to grow as microgreen and a couple days ago we talked about what is microgreens what are microgreens what is microgreens so with that being said, talking about the best plants to grow, I went and I actually Googled it just to find out what the recommendations were, what people were talking about. And they're talking about lettuce, kale, spinach, radish, beet, watercress, herbs, and greens. And from that I know that sunflowers are very popular. Um, for, for whatever reason. I mean, they, they grow quick. Um, they probably germinate and sprout within seven to that 14 day window. The two leaves come out and you can harvest them and you can use them in a variety of reasons. Um, the other one that's really popular that I know of are pea shoots. And uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things being talked out there about sprouting, um, eating pea sprouts and what I've been finding on that is there's a lot of mold issues with that. There's a lot of danger zones. And we can eliminate a lot of that with the microgreens by growing the microgreens. So um, the other thing is radishes. And those three things, sunflowers, peas, and radishes are some of the ones I've been finding that go probably the quickest at the farmer's markets. And uh, they're used like the radishes are used to garnish salads, the peas are used for smoothies along with the sunflowers, um, and then you can just you can eat them whole too, as far as that goes. So that is just a few among the plants or the plants that are used to, to grow as microgreens. Now, where I'm standing, there's one more crop too, and it's one of those pulse crops. Uh, we talked a little bit about the peas and this is a lentil field and there are lots of lentils out here and as you can see we're already past what it would be to harvest as a microgreen because these have actually been up for oh they're probably up a little over 14 days I'm guessing they're probably 16 17 days these have been up and they're actually looking pretty good uh, we've been getting some rains in the area and uh, so who knows where it's gonna go but um, it's interesting that one of the microgreen crops that you can raise in, in uh, a microgreen farming situation or a microgreen growing chamber or however we're going to do that. And we're going to address a lot more. We have a lot more coming for you um, about the nutrient value and we're going to be talking a lot about how we're going to be building that, why it's so important, where it comes from. But uh, it's interesting standing out here in a lentil field and thinking that um, the lentils are actually one of the crops that's used to grow microgreens. So with that, um, comment on this video, maybe share some of the crops or some of the plants that you grow or that you like growing as microgreens. Share some of the successes you've had with it. Share some of the, 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 the stress or some of the failures that you've had with it and uh, we'll talk about those so with that thanks for watching and keep growing microgreens Steve Sedera from Tabletop Farmer